Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back and in today's video we have our fifth Constructicon. This is the Transformers Studio Series number 67 Voyager Class Skipjack. Um, this is an amazing figure and I'm very excited to be taking a very good detailed look at him. And we are officially three Constructicons away from Devastator. This is crazy. I was not expecting to be able to get this far. But... If you could, guys, if you could please get me to 100 subscribers before I find all the components, that would be amazing. Please do so. And if you guys are having a great day, bad day, whatever it is, I will try my, this video will make it much, much better, I'm hoping. So, I'm gonna, so if you guys do enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment down below. We are on the road to 100 subscribers. One of my big, one of the biggest achievements a YouTuber can get to. So if you guys could please get me there, that would be amazing, and I will do something very special for you guys, and I mean that. So I'm going to stop talking, guys. Let's get to the review. Okay, guys, here we are with the Studio Series 67 Skipjack. So this is my fifth Constructicon, which I'm very excited to have it, as we are now three more Constructicons away from getting Devastator. So I will be doing a review on that, which I have all eight. But before we take a look at the actual figure, we're going to move him off to the side. And we're going to be taking a look at the packaging. So as you can see here, we have Skipjack, number 67, Studio Series, Construction on Skipjack, Step Down Logo, from Transport Adventure the Fallen, Transformer Generation. On the side of the box, we have Skipjack again, with the Forge Class, Studio Series, number 67. So, very, very nice. On the top, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. On the bottom, we're saying Sparkode. The side of the box, we have Devastator, which, again, very excited to find him. Back of the box. The back of the box shows the figure in his robot vehicle, well, backdrop included, the bio. Okay, uh, 22 steps. Big screen inspired, everything like there. Construct on Skipjack, Revenge of the Fallen. Septical logo and Pyramid Desert Battle. Um, like I said in a previous video, I will not be taking a look at the backdrops for um, all of them. I'll just wait until I get like scrap metal long haul and then overload to do the other leader voyages and deluxes and the thing in this sort of thing. So here is Studio Series Skipjack, and of course he is just a straight up repaint of um, what's his name Rampage. So. Most people, um, most people didn't really like that, but I'm not one of them. I really like this, like, the idea of giving, um, Rampage repaint of a more movie-accurate Devastator limb. So, um, turning to the details, again, it's everything on Rampage, so. But since I didn't, I never reviewed Rampage, so here's just the details on Skipjack. Again, everything, everything is just yellow. On here instead of red, since it's a skipjack. Uh, you have this piece right here, which comes from this little bit right here. You can just push it up or down. I always like to leave it down. Which, speaking of which, let's turn over to the back. The back is not actually not bad. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it screen accurate, but then again, we never really saw skipjack in the movie. All we saw was his alternate mode. But yeah, this isn't a bad. This isn't a bad backpack. Now to the articulation, he's got a ball joint up ahead. Which yes, it is a ball joint, but it is very tight. He can move up and down, and he can sort of hold his head right there. You have a full 360 rotation. The arm can move out. Bicep swivel. No bend of the knee, but you do get this sort of whipping piece. The fingers can move, all of them, and it can move forward, so you can sort of have them like a gun. Um, this is really weird, but it, this is sort of a ratchet swivel, but it's more side to side than it is. Um, if you bring the figure up, you do get an ab crunch, which is not very common with most figures.
and then that's it. So, posability on this figure is very nice. I really do like the amount of posability that this figure has. Okay, so moving on to some size comparisons. Here is per tradition, my previous review, the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Dropkick. As you can see there, um, Dropkick is obviously much smaller than Skipjack. Here is my favorite Studio Series, the Leader Class Shockwave, which, per usual, Shockwave towers over Skipjack, which none of you should really be surprised about that, because Shockwave was a big boy in the movie. And now, let's move on to the Constructicon size comparison. So, we'll go ahead and put Skipjack and Scrapper together. Like that. I'm, I'm gonna do the best I can, guys. We'll go ahead and put Mixmaster next to Scrapper. I know you can't really see that well, I'm just gonna be putting them together and then I'll start with that. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera off to the side so we can get the full angle. Go ahead and put it like... Okay, so, we'll go ahead and have Mixmaster right here. We'll go ahead and have Scrapper right over here in the corner. We will put Scavenger right here in the back. Because once I get overload, then he'll also be going in the back with Scavenger. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I did in my video of reviewing Scavenger, which I, if I didn't, what I like to do is I like to take this piece sort of back here, this sort of piece that combines for Devastator, and I like to just lock the wheel into place. That's just something I prefer to do, but if you have a different way, then you can go ahead and leave it in the comments. But if you want him to actually be able to stand without having to do with that wheel, that's the best way I do it. So. We'll go ahead and have Hightower in the front. We'll go ahead and put Skipjack over here in front of Scrapper. And then finally, we'll go ahead and put Mixmaster right over here. Go ahead and move Scavenger a little bit more. So that's the best I can really do for the moment, but it's, it's a big group. This is a very, very big group of Decepticons. So, and I'm really hoping for my next review will most likely be the Studio Series Blitzwing. So, if I do find him, then I'll review him. But, yeah, let's go ahead and turn to the transformation. And, I gotta say, this transformation, most of you would have already seen it on YouTube, like Prime vs. Prime or anything like that. But, this transformation is pretty, is actually pretty complex, but it's also quite simple. So we're going to keep this angle at the moment so you guys can get a good look at it. So um, what I obviously do want to do first is you want to pry off him like that. And then you're going to take this piece and fold it in. Just going to move that base off to the side. Come right here, fold this piece in without folding out this piece. That'll come in handy later. Uh, what you want to do next is you want to spread the arms out. And you want to take off these pistol bits right here and you want to rearrange them to right here that's where you want to put them next we'll put them right here actually no I think it's the other way yeah it's the other way around so um, the pistol that goes that's on this finger will go on this slot right here there you go okay and now you want to keep the head up just for a good amount of time and we're going to be working with the arms. So what you want to do is you want to bring this piece up, come to the back here, and then this tab will go into this slot, and then this tab will hold this piece in. Actually, we know the tab's into right there. So you want to just fold it back, and then you want to f sort of f take it and move it up so you can tab it in like that. Okay, and then you want to fold this piece 
down and it should tab in. It doesn't really tab in all the time. It's just, you just gotta work with it. Okay, and then you want to take this piece and fold it down, not all the way, just yet. Um, and then we're also going to take these pieces right here and gonna flip them out like so. And now we just take, we do the exact same thing on this side. So just give me one moment while I go ahead and do that. Okay, I got it. So now we're going to go ahead and fold in the, actually no, we're not gonna do that quite yet. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece and you're going to ratchet it down like so. And again, you didn't, you don't wanna flip the head up because if you do that, then this piece won't be able to fold down. So you just want to bring that piece down and you actually, you actually need to take these arms and have them above the treads. So I do apologize about that. So you just want to do it like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure these pieces stay flipped up and this slot will go into this tab on the finger. So just, just fiddle with it until it taps into place. It can be a little tricky sometimes, but you just gotta get that right angle. There we go. Okay, and now you wanna do the exact same thing on this side. You wanna make sure that it lines perfectly up so that that way it'll just slide on in. Like so. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go and take this display base and there are these two slots right here that will go into, let's see, these two tabs right here. And you don't want it like this because then it won't tab in, you want it like this. You want it so that this, this piece right here is facing away from the front and it should tab in perfectly fine. Okay, now you wanna take this piece and push it down for this sort of wheel thing take this piece and fold it down slightly so that you can sort of bring this piece above it. Like so. Okay, now you want to fold this piece down. Do the same thing. And then the final part is to just fold down the treads. And there are tabs, like, on the... Here we go. Um, there are these two slots. These two slots right here. that will go into these two tabs like so. There you go. And, um, oh, shoot, I forgot. You wanna make sure that these wheel pieces are all the way out. You don't want them inside because then the vehicle mode won't be able to roll. There you go. All right, fold these pieces down and you're done. So that is Skipjack in his alternate mode. Now, you, you're you probably gonna mess it up a couple times because this, this transformation is pretty complex, but, in the end, it leads you to a very, very nice looking alt mode. Um, so moving to the details, as you can see, again, everything is just full on yellow that was red on Rampage, which I honestly don't understand why they didn't make Skipjack first and then they made Rampage, but eh, I'm not Hasbro. I don't know what they're doing. So that's that. And now, Let's go ahead and... Now, the bottom of the figure is actually a bit, um... It's a bit messy, because this head's just sticking out. But, there's nothing we can really do about it. It's... It's Hasbro stuff. So, it's fine. Anyways, let's move on to size comparisons. Again, Dropkick. Which, I, I'm sorry guys, but I will no longer be doing vehicle mode size comparisons. But as you can see, Skipjack has definitely lost some, definitely lost some height. Here's Studio Series Leader Class Shockwave. You can see there. Shockwave towers over this guy, like so. And now, just because and actually, I know I already said I wouldn't do this anymore, but I had him in alternate. I had him in his alternate mode, so I thought may as well. So here's Studio Series Roadbuster. Um, my only wrecker, which I'm hoping to find. I did actually find Topspin recently, which is when I found Skipjack. Um, but I'm hoping to be able to get 
Topspin or Blitzwing next. So, there you go. As you can see, they're pr with this gun, they're pretty much the same length. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, his Devastator mode. What you want to do first is you want to bring this piece back up. You want to untab... Actually, no, 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 you don't want to do that first. You want to take this piece, you want to unhinge this piece and fold it up, and then put that piece back into place. Um, we'll go ahead and reattach these when we have the arms fully fully done. Now you want to take the arms and untap them. But before you do that, you want to take the display base, you want to take it off, and it's actually not going to go on the Devastator mode, so that's that. Bring, them, bring the arms out, and now you just want to hinge this piece up, and you want to actually just leave it like that. Fold up the head, fold out this piece, and this is where overload will connect onto, whatchamacallit. Now you want to flip out the treads, fold down the hand, fold this sort of wheel piece down, and that will allow you to spin the um, tread, so like that. Now you want to bring this piece out, fold it around, tab it back into its new place, which is right here. You want to make sure that it is fully good. Which, I don't know, I don't quite know why it's, oh, my, wait. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, you want to fold this piece down. Like so. Hmm. That's weird. Alright, give me one moment while I figure this out. I don't know what's up. Okay, I'm back. And as it turns out, I did that completely wrong. You just want to fold this piece out like that. So, that's that. Now you want to fold this piece in. And now you can flip the, up the tread and snap it back into place. Um. Oh my god. I feel so stupid for messing that up. But, um... Some people do it, which, including me, so, it's, I guess you could just say it's part of life. Okay, and then you pull it down, flip this around, like so, there you go. Alright, now you want to fold this piece up, fold this back, and then you just want to tab that back in, and now you can go ahead and bring the arms together. Um, there are these tabs right here that will go into these slots, which you also want to connect the arms, which you have to actually bring the arms up, or the hands, whatever you want to call them. And I just realized I did the head wrong again, so you want to make sure that piece is fully flipped down, and then you tab that in, and then you hook those up. Okay, and then you can fold down this shred, like so. And now, we can go ahead and reconnect these bits. There you go. Alright, so that is Devastator's leg mode. That is the leg mode for Skipjack. Excuse me, hold on. Hey! <laughs> Which... This looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to being able to finish Devastator. Now, this is just a leg, so imagine how big Devastator is going to be. I have no idea how I'm even going to do the review. As for the stand, I always just like to leave it off to the side, but if you guys have any sort of transformation sort of things, then make sure to leave them in the comments. And if, and if I do, if I like one of them, then I will give you a shout out in my next video. So, um... Turning to the details, this is pretty much just like the, uh, this is pretty much the vehicle mode, just without the, um, just seems like everything's more flipped. Um, and then of course this is a piece that Overload will connect onto, and then I don't really know what this piece up here is for, but I think this tab is going to tab into him. I have no idea, I've yet to even find, I have actually found Overload, but I've yet to get him. Um, but, yeah, this thing's actually a pretty good size. Once again, Shockwave for comparison, which, um, it seems to me that Devastator is going to completely tower over Shockwave. Shockwave is definitely going to lose some, lose some height advantage. But then again, they're all Decepticons, 
so it won't even matter. Um, here's Drop Kick next to Skipjack, which the leg of Devastator pretty much seems to be around the scale of Voyager slash Deluxe. Depends on what kind you get. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, comment down below if you have any more ideas for this figure, um, and be sure to like. Once again, I've said in my previous videos a lot, but we're on the road to 100 subscribers. So if you could please get me there, that would be amazing. Have an amazing day, guys, and see you guys later.